Welcome back. Now that we've completed the arm here that comes down the side of the lamp, we want to start looking at the top ring and the bottom ring here. So we click the check mark. That means we're done with that. And this top ring, it should the sketch has already been created for you, and it's on this top plane here, this top layer. Um, so if we go and start looking at that, let's zoom in here. Um, we are going to um, start designing this, but we are going to need to use, using this button here, use, which is going to steal some points from our other design here that we're going to need. So we want to click on the center. Oop, let's see. There we go. We want that center point, and we're also going to need this spot right there, the corner of the edge there, so that we can um, make things line up correctly here. So let's look down from the top. Um, get rid of views and we'll go to top view here. So we're going to be drawing on this surface. You can see those big black dots there. Those are the two that we're going to need. And so we can actually hide that other one and we're just going to make a ring here. So we're going to use a couple circles. We want this one to be just a little bit past that dot. And we'll see why that is in just a moment. That should be a little bit larger. And then the smaller one, we want to dimension this one. And this dimension should be um, the whole diameter. Oops, let's push D there. And if we go H for whole diameter, that should be the size of the piece we're going to be putting in there and the little light fixture part. And that's pretty much it for here. We'll push done for there. And let's go back and look at this here. So when we look back here, um, we have this ring up there. It doesn't have notches in it yet, but we'll get there in a second. Let's hide that and we're going to repeat this for the bottom. Let's make our arm visible again. So now when we go to edit our bottom sketch. Again, we want to use the same use function here. We want the center point, and we want that little corner there, and we're essentially repeating the exact same steps. So go and look down from the top. I'm going to hide this so we don't get distracted there. Those are our two points. We're making a ring slightly larger than that one, that point out there. And then we want an inner ring as well. Uh, this one, kind of up to you, but you probably want it pretty big. That is how big this opening is going to be here. Um, yours is going to be a circle in this case, um, so that you can reach in there and stuff. If you make it too skinny, it's not going to be very strong. So it's kind of up to you. Make it look good. Um, and that's pretty much it for that step for now as well. So here, if we turn things back on, we can kind of see what we are starting to get here. And it's starting to look a little bit like a lamp. Next up, we are going to extrude some things. Let's extrude this bottom. Extrude means it's going to turn it into a 3D shape here so we can really see what's going on. So we look at that we can say oh yeah that's going to stretch that up and make this 3d shape here uh, but the thickness of this should be the thickness of the wood and sometimes you are going to need to play with the direction it's going because you want it to fit right in that little gap that we have there and it should be a little bit larger like you see there if it's going the wrong way push this button and then you'll see it flips the other way and we're going to again repeat that for the top part here, and we're going to click extrude. We're going to click this circle, and we want to do the thickness of the wood. Double check, and it's going in the right direction. Ooh, something looks wrong there. Let's go back and fix that. So that is correct, but if we go back here, oh, check that out. I didn't dimension this. Somehow that got lost. That should be thickness of the wood. Now, fixing our mistakes, 
looking pretty good. We got one more thing here to extrude, which is our arm. A little bit different here when we extrude this one. Uh, it's going to help us later if we extrude it. Um, you can kind of see what's going to happen here. If you extrude, extrude it this way, it's not going to be really centered. It's going to be because we're going off that plane. So we don't want to. We want to change this from blind to symmetric. And we and then that should solve our problems again, making it thickness of the wood. We can go bango. Look at that. That's starting to look pretty good. All right. We'll push OK. And we have a few last steps. That will be it for this video. And the final video will be coming soon. See you soon.